Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. The Wars for e-reading has just picked up with the release of the Google eBook Store and the Google Books application for Android and for iOS devices. In this video, we're going to compare the Google Books application for Android with the Kindle application for Android and talk a little bit about this new entrant into the eBook reader space. Let's get to it. <laughs> So right now you have a lot of choices if you want to download or buy a book uh, and read it on multiple devices. You have the Barnes & Noble Nook Store, you can get an application for your smartphone, you can buy a Nook at the Barnes & Noble Store or online, uh, among other things. The Kindle application store takes that to the next level. You can read it in web browsers, you can read it on Mac and PC, you can read it on pretty much any smartphone that is out there. Uh, and, and Google's aiming to take a similar approach, although they're opening it a little bit more. So not only can you read books that you buy through Google Books uh, in your web browser, on your Android phone or your iPhone, but you can also read your Google Books on the Sony e-reader and the Barnes & Noble Nook because of the formats that they can support. However, you cannot read Google Books on the Amazon Kindle. Uh, but although, as mentioned, the Amazon Kindle has pretty much all of their bases covered. If you buy a book, you can read it on really any device. So let's talk about the book's interface. And we're looking at this on the Samsung Galaxy Tab right now, but of course it'll look about the same on any Android phone. It's a free application, it's very simple. And here we have our library. And we can go into landscape from here. A nice simple and clean interface shows you the front covers of the books. It is preloaded with some titles like Alice in Wonderland, so let's uh, go into that and we'll see what it looks like to read a book. Now right now we have it set to night theme and there's a lot of viewing options here. If we go to settings, we can turn on the day theme, make the text bigger, change the font depending on what you like change the text justification. If we go back, it'll change it. And just like the Kindle application, just like the Nook application, you flick to turn pages, it's very simple. We can go into landscape and we'll get a, should get a wider view. Perhaps we're locked into a portrait view. It's just a very similar reading experience. And of course, from the application, you can buy books, but it's going to push you onto the web. So if we click get eBooks, it's going to bring you to the Google Books website, which ties in nicely to your Google account. So we can scroll down here and see all of these books. Um, you can see the prices there and it will work through Google Checkout. And of course, these prices are pretty much the same that you're gonna find in Barnes & Noble e-reader store and uh, the, the Kindle store. Let's say we wanna get a sample of this book. We click get sample and boom, it says the sample is now in your library. Read now, it jumps you right back into the Google Books application and boom, you are on page one within seconds reading the sample, very nice. Let's go back because there are some settings in this library. If we go to the menu button and click on manage eBooks, this will show you all of the eBooks associated with your Google account. You can trash them from the cloud or you can actually buy them uh, within this screen. So very quickly you can say, oh, I've been reading these three books. Uh, two of them I wanna buy and actually read instead of just look through the sample. Let's go back and see the other settings we can choose. So here's the, uh, the books, the, the version location, where to store your books. You can actually store it on the SD card of your phone. And just like the Amazon Kindle application, you can have books that are stored in the cloud or archived as they're called in the Kindle application, and then books that are stored on your device for easy reading. Um, that is why if we go back to this screen, manage eBooks, if I were to um, pin now I can read the book while I'm offline, so it's actually gonna download it directly to my device within seconds. So a very robust reading experience, it's actually extremely similar to what you get on Kindle. So here in Kindle, if I go to archived items, this will show me all of the books that I've read that are hanging out in the cloud. And any of these books I can tap and they will download to my library and it says download selected items. It will sync the page um, that I, I, I last read just like the Google Bookstore was. So very similar experiences. Now what happens if we wanna buy a book here? Now that gets a little bit different. So if we go down to the menu button, we go to Kindle Store. It's gonna drop us into the Kindle interface, which doesn't always keep us logged in. It's a shame that there's no um, built-in bookstore within the application. So of course from here, we can go to New York Times bestsellers, we can click on a book. And again, these are about the same prices that you'll see. And we can try a sample. 
and it's going to ask you to log in. Uh, but it's really only one time. So in terms of which of these applications is better, the Books application or the Kindle application, I'd say the Books application has better integration uh, with the cloud, which is better. Uh, that said, if you have been using the Kindle ecosystem all along, you probably don't want to start on something new. Uh, if you've been in the Nook ecosystem, you probably don't want to start on something new. But if you haven't yet gotten into e-reading yet, and you plan to buy books, and you want to read them on your smartphone and your tablet and everything, Google Books may be the best way to go because it's going to work with the most amount of devices. And the prices are, are very similar to what you get within, within the Kindle and the Nook store. So the Google Books application is quite good. You should try it out, especially if you haven't yet made a decision on which bookstore you want to be a part of if you want to read books digitally. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.